Today we're here with Woody, my new friend, and we're going to talk about his really, really nice uh, cargo trailer that he's living in. So, Woody, welcome to the channel. Thank you. And uh, so how long have you been traveling as a nomad? About 15, 16 months full time. Wow, that's great. And how's it going so far? Oh, I love it. You love it? Good. Oh, yeah. Good, good. And what uh, led you up to the decision that to become a nomad? Um, live life instead of sit at home and exist. That's a, that is extremely well said. That's, uh, that is, I, my, my, that's what led me and I think the majority of people, some people finances, but uh, yeah. So what did that mean to you? What did sitting home and just existing look like? Well, it was just basically going to the store and the doctor most of the time and not really much getting out, you know, being disabled and stuff. It, it's kind of hard. So you are struggling a bit with a disability. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a toxic veteran. I'm, oh, really? I'm, I'm, I'm processing a, a, a claim right now. You know, it's strange with the VA. I know people who get tremendously good care, and I know people who got tremendously bad care. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of luck which is a shame, it definitely should not be that way. Why did you choose a cargo trailer? Oh, it was one of your videos where you lived in one for a while. I a, did. A six, six by 10, mm -hmm. and just, uh, it's so much better than any RV. I've had a class C, and it's like you said, it's not like a leaking, it's not if it's gonna leak, but when it's gonna leak. Right. And this is built so much better. Um, and uh, once you start doing the stuff inside, you know how it's done. Right. And you can do it a lot better than the, um, a lot of the RVs. Right. Yeah, I am a, an enormous fan of living in, if you want more comfort, uh, to build your own into a cargo trailer. Like you said, they'll, they'll last forever before they'll fail you. Yeah, I, 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 I love it. Yeah. So I have a video out, uh, 10 reasons to choose a cargo trailer. So go check out that video. So after um, 16 months or so of, of traveling in your trailer, do you have any advice for people out there who are thinking about doing it but aren't sure? Well, just just do it. Just just go and do it. Because I was I didn't even have it. I, I just threw everything in the floor in there and just left. I was like, I'm done. I don't, you know, I can sleep. I can eat. I'm done. I'm, I'll just fix fix stuff down the road. And that's what I've been doing. Right. And that works really, really well. Especially with all the space you have in a cargo trailer. Well, right. Well, that, well the thing with the space, it's like it's... You're playing a never-ending game of Tetris. <laughs> I know. It's, it's all the time, you know. If I move this or if I get rid of this, what can I put back in here? And how right. can I put it back in there or store it differently? Exactly, exactly. Okay, well, on the other hand, let's look at the reverse of that. After 16 months of the road, what has been less, uh, less than you had thought, not as good as you thought? Any problems, things you would warn a person coming about coming out? No, because I... Um, I always loved camping ever since I was little and I never wanted to go home and I don't have to go home now. Right. <laughs> home is with you. Yeah, exactly. I, I, this, this is home. This is when, when I get here, this is, this feels like home to me. Living in a house or a, a apartment never felt like home. This feels like home and especially the people you meet out here. Yeah. I agree so much that the idea of, uh, of coming home, it, that's what it was for me. First time I moved into my, my van very much so. Uh, so we are actually meeting here in Pahrump, Nevada, and at the uh, BYOV camp. So, and you just got some work done at the at the at uh, the BYOV event. Oh yes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we started a nonprofit called Homes on Wheels Alliance. You can go to homesonwheelsalliance.org and look that up. And we do an event called Bring Your Own Vehicle BYOV, and uh, we help you do things. So you got some work done on your trailer there. Yes. What did you get done? I had a vinyl floor put in. They built um, a bed, an elevated bed, so I got storage underneath it and a shelf. Very good. So that probably made a pretty enormous difference. Oh, it's a game changer, yeah. <laughs> especially yeah. with the, the storage. Yeah. So uh, how it does that periodically, we do it uh, right now. We're doing it twice a year. And if you will go to homesonwheelsalliance.org and just keep your eye on that page, every so often um, it will come up with a BYOV coming up, we usually do it in uh, October or November and in April. And so just keep your eye and you can apply and maybe you also will be selected to, to be the recipient of some really life-changing upgrades. So Woody, would it be all right if we took a look inside? 
Yes. All right, let's do that. Let's check it out, folks. So folks, now we're inside. We're take, checking out uh, Woody's tra trailer. And what size is your trailer? Six by 12. That's almost the perfect size, I think. Mm -hmm. My six by 10 was a little small. Yeah, this gives you an awful lot of room. And so they just, uh, Howa just built you the bed. Correct. And that gives you an awful lot of storage inside and underneath. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, lots. And you're kind of a minimalist. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a minimalist ever since I was in the military. I just never have bought a lot of stuff, a lot of possessions. I would rather travel and go places. Right, and uh, that's uh, freedom versus comfort. Uh, mm. You give up some comfort, but boy, you gain a lot of freedom. So yeah, that's worked well. And uh, so now you've got a nice floor. Oh yeah, something that's easy, easier to sweep and clean than the yeah. plywood. Yeah. And if you spill something, it doesn't soak into it or right. stain it or. Right, nice bed, floor, and a, uh, so here's your solar system. And you must have put in the solar system. Well, Mark, yeah, you Mark. Oh yeah, Mark. He'd done some work for you. Yes. Uh, SpaceX, Mark. Mm -hmm. We we like to refer to him as very, very, very good on well, on solar anything. Really smart guy. Really smart guy. Yeah, I, he's done work for me. And so, uh, how much solar do you have? Uh, just two hundred watts right now. Which for most people is enough. All right. So, and you've got your roll up back door. So you can pop that open when it gets hot or... or uh, I was thinking about just screening it off. Right. So I can just open it up so I can look out that way, look out that way. Right. Um, and that's, boy, that'll give you some real ventilation and airflow. <laughs> big, Very big, big time. All right. So let's come around and you just have a whole lot of storage underneath now. Yeah, lots of storage. Yep. And I see a five gallon bucket. What's that for? <laughs> That's uh, the bathroom, Lug Lugabaloo. Right. You yeah. got you got to have that. You got to have that. <laughs> but what, what's also neat is the way they did the the way they did the bed. Um, if I got stuff underneath there, I can also access it this way, so I don't have to slide it out. Oh, that is a great idea. And then they have another one up over here. Oh, that is a very good idea. Okay, let's take a look at the front then. So this is the shelf they they put in for you. Yes. Nice. I haven't had time to really put a bunch of stuff up there yet or figure out how I'm going to secure everything up there. And, and you had insulated it before? Yeah, back in April, uh, had it insulated and uh, a Max Air fan put in in a window. Nice. And just a couple of uh, plastic bins to some yep. storage and, of course, a diesel heater. That's my favorite item I have is that diesel heater. Oh yeah, they are fantastic. Well, it's so convenient and so easy just to walk over and push a button and you got that just that hot air coming out. Right, right. And, and no moisture like you do with propane. Oh, terrible. That's one of the really, really uh, big drawbacks of uh, propane is all that moisture. Well, you know, you have got very little money invested in this mm. uh, is what it looks like. So the cost of the trailer, three, 4,000. It was 5825 brand new in Oregon. Yeah, they when I bought mine, which was quite a long time ago, I think it was, well, t at least 10 years ago, it was only 2500 Wow. And yeah, they have just skyrocketed in price. They're probably going to keep going up too. And you can't, the used ones just as much. And that's well, the the used, a lot of the used ones cost more than the new yeah. one. So that's why I, I was like, well... I, I called Trailers Plus and I was I was like I can get a I can get a new one cheaper than a used one. I was yeah. like, oh, I'm getting a new one. Right. Yes, mine is from Trailers Plus as well, and I'm I would uh, recommend them very highly. And it'll it'll last you forever. They are just uh, they're a, a, a lifetime investment. So, and you got plenty of room. And uh, boy, this is a really nice setup. Oh, thank you. Really inexpensive setup. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I just like as little as possible. I don't do excess, never have. Uh, like I said, I like to live. I like to go see stuff. I like to do stuff. Right. Very, very good. Okay, and so uh, one more question. We saw the bucket. That's your bathroom. And how do you uh, stay clean or take a shower? Uh, you can use baby wipes. Uh, there's a lot of places you can go. A lot of gas stations have showers and stuff that you can pay and go to, or truck stops have them. Um, I have a, a membership at a gym. And I can go to the gym, take showers. Um, it's it's not it's not it's not so hard. Yeah. No. 
people exaggerate how hard it is. And then you can always just sponge bathe and yeah, yeah, you can in yeah, between. Yep, yeah, exactly. Uh, and you are trying to be a really healthy eater, right? Oh yes. And so that is kind of a, one of your hobbies out here. Well, yeah. Well, I used to have uh, type two diabetes and lupus. So I went whole food, plant-based, no salt, no sugar, no oils. And uh, um, I got rid of the diabetes and the lupus. Wow, that's impressive. And now, a lot of people would think that you can't, you can't eat healthy on the road like this. But you found that you can. Oh, yeah. I, I'm probably one of the healthiest eaters out here. Really? Good. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, I've got uh, books so like how not, to, how not to Die, How Not to <laughs> Diet, uh, things of that nature. A lot of people ask me for advice on nutrition. Uh -huh. I know a lot. I think I'm going to get my certificate. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, in nutrition? Yes. Wow, that would be very good. Well, I, I know a lot of it, but I just, wanna, I just want that piece of paper. Piece of paper makes a difference in this mm -hmm. world. Yeah. Well, nutrition is so, so different when you look at it from a, a plant-based view. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, it's, that's where all your vitamins are. That's where, you know, all the liquid aminos and stuff. That It's going to make you healthy. I'm just trying to make people healthy and happy out here. Right. That's right. what I want. That, that's my job now. Right. You know, it's really good if you can come out here with a passion. Mm, that's Something it. you care about and want to, uh, you want to change people's lives, make them better. Well, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good to help people or right. see them have like a problem that they can just correct by changing the way they eat. Right. So this is your tow truck. Tell us about it. It's a 95 uh, GMC K1500 four-wheel four drive with a, a 350 uh, 5.7 liter engine in it and uh, uh, I got the canopy after I got the truck just because while well, I lived in Oregon it always rains you can't put anything in the back without it getting wet so. right and I needed something good to pull uh, pull the trailer with and so how does it pull the uh, trailer oh it pulls it really nice it, I, I love it you don't even really notice it's behind you right that's one of the advantages also of the cargo trailers are so light right uh, that you can tow it with almost anything. You don't have to have a big dually to, to tow it. That wouldn't be true of any travel trailer you bought. You right. need a much heavier duty vehicle. And so you kind of use the uh, back as a garage? Yes, yes. Why don't you show us that? Just, well, extra things. Um, well, a generator for when your, your solar can't, can't produce power. This, uh, this uh, you can use this. I got a portable shower that pops up. Uh, you pump that sprayer up, and it's mm -hmm. got a adjustable nozzle works really good i recommended it to several people so did you did you make that or did you buy it like that i uh, bought it like that oh they're hard to find where yeah. did you get it uh, off amazon off amazon and it is specifically made to like uh for this type of life to give showers or wash your right. dog or whatever so you just keep stuff up here this is kind of the yeah ever morphing ever changing garage right and that way it's not in your home cluttering it up right that is a real huge advantage. Another huge advantage of the trailer mm -hmm. is the trailer is simple, but you carry still get to carry a lot of stuff. Right. Nice. And if you needed to, you could uh, move some of this into the trailer and take just the truck and travel. Well, that's what I've been thinking. Well, after looking at one of your friend's trucks, the back the back of her truck, mm -hmm. the way she did, I was like, I'm jealous. <laughs> 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 I mean, who wouldn't be? That's nice. That is just so nice. Yeah. Yeah, you have the option of what you, uh, well, that's what I did when I was in a cargo trailer. I pulled it with a van, and I parked the uh, trailer over the summer. I paid for storage and just took the van. Mm -hmm. So I had the freedom in the summer of just the van, and then in the winter, I had all the comforts of the cargo of the cargo trailer. Right. I like, that's a real advantage to me. Mm -hmm. And you got one of these nice... Uh, Stoves over yeah, here, can't, stove can't and oven, can't show. Stove, stove oven. Yeah, I like to cook. I really like to cook. You can you can bake a lot of stuff in it. Plus, it's got dual burners up on top. Right. If healthy eating is is uh, your hobby and passion, then uh, an oven would be really helpful. Yeah. Well, I think I'm one of the few people that actually cooks a lot. Yeah. Out, out here all the time. I see a lot of people going to town, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> I can't do that. Once in a great while, I might. But yeah, I try. I, I like doing it myself. All my uh, fruits and veggies. Right. Very, very good. Well, Woody, thank you so much for uh, sharing your home with us. Uh, it's really impressive. I think you've just got a simple, minimal build that is extremely comfortable.